Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another Zombies video. As you can see, on January 8th, Treyarch announced that they're going to be celebrating uh, 115 Day, and it's going to be, it's typically celebrated on January 15th, it's kind of like National Zombies Day, or as I like to call it, um, kind of like the Call of Duty Zombies Community 115 Day or Zombie Day. It's kind of the day that the Zombies Community decided uh, that they want to celebrate 115, which is the uh, the rock that came from out of space and pretty much caused the zombies, uh, or the zombie breakout in the game. Uh, there is a it, it's a delicate situation. I I, I just want to say kind of like looking back now, like uh, there's more. It's tied to other events in real life, and I think in the past when I first discovered it, I was like really excited to let people know about it. But I, and I tried to kind of let people know the difference between November 5th, uh, 115 day, and January 15th, 115 day. But I think for now, I'm just going to kind of go along with the zombies community. I think, uh, like I said, looking back now, it's probably very inappropriate uh, to be celebrating the November 5th date um, as 115 day. Because it is tied to events that happened in, in real life and in the, in the story itself. Um, some people might know or figured out that, uh, the zombie characters and the events are tied to actual real events in real life. Not the Tunguska event, as somebody probably might think, but if you do your research, it is tied, uh, the November 5th date is tied to real events, so, um, that's just a little quick backstory as far as the date and, and what it means. Um, so I guess, like, from here on forward i myself i'm just gonna call it the zombies community 115 day um not necessarily like the dev or the real life story because uh, the devs are the one that kind of made the game and the story and of course it's tied to real life events uh which is the november 5th date but it's probably now in hindsight like i said more appropriate uh if we celebrate the january 15th date rather than the november 5th date uh so that's just a quick little again like i said recap uh but the main question that many people are asking is, what do you think Treyarch is going to give us for uh, 115 Day as far as, like, are we going to get any special game modes, any new maps, uh, any announcements, and, and stuff like that. So that's pretty much the question, and I'm just going to kind of talk what I think. Uh, actually, it's, it's going to be a very important date as far as finding out what's coming for Season 2, because... Uh, Treyarch, ever since Modern Warfare, have been putting a lot of Easter eggs in the game. Um, Call of Duty has been putting a lot of Easter eggs. You go back and you look at some of the bundles in the store. Well, it's kind of impossible, but maybe you would have to go to like the armory and look at the guns and then look at the bundles. The bundles and the stickers and the calling card, they actually tell a big story. And it, and it kind of gives you hints at what, what was coming or what is coming. So... The, with season one and some of the bundles and calling cards that we're giving and even in the battle pass that's something that modern warfare did really well and really clever is the season pass actually told the story the items that you got actually told the story so having said that it looks like the season one some of the easter eggs from the calling cards and and bundles it's telling a story that's looking like we might actually get another zombie apocalypse, like a, a zombies themed uh, operation. And that's why I'm very interested to, interested to see what we're going to get on 115 day a week, uh, pretty much like almost a week from now on January 15th. Are we going to get a lot of stuff, which means that it's that I'm going to be wrong? Like, And I, that's something I didn't want to point out is I'm not one of those people that just throws like stuff to the wall and hope that it sticks or lie and say that i have inside information everything i've solved which is a lot has been just from easter eggs and trying to piece the clues together so again i'm not saying that i have any inside information i don't know any of the devs i don't want to know anything ahead of time i'm just really good at solving it so uh, it's looking like they're putting clues that we're gonna get a zombies uh themed Season 2 operation. Um, of course, it's going to be a new map, and maybe they're going to uh, have some zombies in Warzone, maybe. 
uh, because as you guys know, season one, uh, there were, I keep laughing, but I, I shouldn't, because I do read a lot of comments on Twitter, and, and some of it's funny, I know it's just uh, memes and stuff like that, but there wasn't really much in season one, which is fine, because uh, Die Machine is still pretty good, I play it every day, I play up to maybe around 30, 40, um, I try and upgrade some guns and try and get extra XP, trying to upgrade my account uh, to a higher account. I think I'm at like 250 about right now. So um, it's still pretty good. We didn't get a, a survival mode, but it looks like all that is coming in Season 2. Um, if you go by the Easter eggs that they, they put in the bundles and maybe the, um, the Battle Pass, if you can piece stuff together... Again, um, and Rebirth Island just dropped, so to probably hype that up a little bit more, it would be really cool to probably have another Zombies-themed, um, kind of like Alcatraz, where, you know, you're fighting people. Maybe, I don't know if there's a way to have it where you're not necessarily fighting people that you can maybe enjoy just killing zombies uh, on Rebirth Island, like an LTM. That would be really cool. But at the same time, Warzone Battle Royale is still uh, the money maker. Um, I guess their bread and butter also is what I was thinking. So I'm really anxious more for 115 Day than I am for Season 2. Because Season 2 are guaranteed some zombie stuff. But 115 Day, it's going to let me know what we're going to get for Season 2 if... Some of the things that I'm thinking that's coming in Season 2, if it comes on 115 Day, that means Season 2 is probably just going to be another operation uh, based around the story and the campaign, not so much maybe zombies. Um, but it'd be really smart for them to kind of go back and forth and spread it out. Um, you know, if they do another campaign Season 2 tied to... Um, the characters, and I forget his name, Perseus, and, and, uh, oh my gosh, I can't forget, can't remember his name, um, Woods and all that stuff, it might get a little bit stale, so if they kind of have a season, an early season two zombies to kind of, um, kind of go back and forth, stretch it out a little bit, um, that would be a really good thing, I think, to, um, to kind of have, like, a zombies, like, uh, it kind of refreshes it a little bit. You kind of have maybe the survival, a new zombies map. Uh, and you can go back and forth at Warzone. And maybe, like I said, it'll get some of the zombies community to go into uh, Rebirth Island. Or maybe that'll come like the second half of the season. like uh, Or vice versa. They can probably do uh, Warzone Rebirth Island with zombies and have the zombies map drop the second half. Um, that might be the better route to go, obviously, because you're going to get the Zombies fan to play Warzone, Rebirth Island. Um, but if you drop the Zombies map the first half, I think, um, if you drop the Zombies map the first half of the season, unless they already announced it's coming in the beginning of the season two, then people aren't going to want to jump into Rebirth or Warzone with zombies. Um, but I guess so, it actually might hype it up a little bit more. I think if you do Warzone with some zombies, LTM, uh, maybe infected type stuff, you hype it up a little bit and then or get people back into the zombie mode um, before the map drops. Or maybe have hints in Warzone. Or Rebirth Island before before the map drops, give like kind of like tease it a little bit. And that's the one thing I even said that since Blackout, since Black Ops Four Blackout, they need to learn to tease a little bit better, um, give more hints. I mean, Onslaught is really good; it gives a lot of uh, clues and and stuff like that and info uh, that you can get by completing. Uh, Onslaught and stuff like that, but I'm just trying to think. Like I said, I know this is kind of like dragging on, but like I, I kind of just hit record and stuff that comes to mind. I just kind of go through it live. Um, I think that's the best way to do. It. Like you kind of like put yourself on the spot. 
Uh, but anyways, uh, it looks like we're going to get a lot of zombies, obviously, for Season 2. If it is a zombie, like I said, 115 Day is going to let you know if if it's just, um, I don't say red herring, but, you know, nothing. Like I would say, maybe it'll, it's nothing. So 115 Day is going to let you know what's going to be there for Season 2. If we get a couple things for... 115 day what does that mean again like for season two uh because season two you can kind of imagine you're gonna get obviously a map survival um but if they just give us a couple little things a couple little challenges maybe a community challenge for 115 day that's not bad because that means there's a lot coming for season two and it might actually be again a season two zombies themed operation I know Cranked, uh, so maybe they will do, like, Cranked will probably be, like, something to kind of get people into the zombies. I know Z Cranked is definitely guaranteed. I'm trying to think what else. Probably Colin Card, uh, probably a couple of zombie stuff in the store. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, because a Season 2 zombies operation is actually bigger than just 115 Day. Um... Because 115 Day is just a fun extra day to celebrate it, whereas Season 2 and getting a whole entire uh, Zombies season operation is, is probably a little bit better. Um, but again, that, that's what I just wanted to kind of touch on real quick, and I'll probably do a couple more things leading up to 115 Day. Uh, maybe some Easter eggs, some Easter egg solves, stuff that I've been uh, thinking about for the last couple of weeks and months. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys. That's just just it for now. Just want to kind of throw some ideas out there and again um, Hopefully we'll start getting stuff next week early next week So we know more or less what we're gonna get on 115 day. Oh, the only thing I wanted to talk about real that I wanted to talk about real quickly is It would be cool to see some of the ex devs. I know it's a it's a touchy topic situation um because I know from the outside looking in, a lot of companies uh, look awesome to work for. But once you're on the inside and you work for that company, you see what goes on. And obviously people or ex dev I, mean, I guess I mentioned more like, I was thinking about more like ex-devs. be cool to see like Jimmy or some of the old devs, even Jason Blundell. But um, it's a it's an interesting thing situation uh but it'd be cool to see some of them talk about zombies i know there's ndas and stuff like that that they can't talk about specifics but it'd be really cool and that's something i personally because uh i enjoy playing the games but it's like the way the devs put the easter eggs in there i kind of admire them and just the cleverness of the easter eggs themselves that are in the game and it's like i would want to just ask I, I know I, I can't, but I'm, I'm just saying the difference between, uh, or it's cool to see some of the devs if they would celebrate it and, and tweet about it. Uh, I know it's been like a tough year for everyone and last year, but it'd still be really cool to hear from like Jimmy or some of the ex-devs and, and stuff like that. Uh, Jason Blundell, but I know there's a lot that happened in Black Ops 4 also, uh, so that's probably still um, a sore topic for a lot of people. But it'd still be really cool. Even for myself, I said looking, like I was just said in the beginning, like looking back, um, I was really excited about 115 Day, figuring out the November 5th date, how that's the real like canon date and stuff like that. But then it's kind of like, oops, you know, that's that's a delicate topic. But I think if they can just like for one day uh, have it just be like water under the bridge or whatever um, the saying is, and just kind of like talk about zombies for a day, maybe Treyarch or Call of Duty can let them talk about zombies, and and even like Lee Ross and stuff like that would be really cool, even some of the other studios, um, being that everything's, everything zombies should start being connected anyways, it'd be kind of cool to see if they can, if they talk about it, but obviously once your company that you used to work for, it's kind of a touchy so uh, subject, uh, but it'd be cool to hear from some of the devs, and uh, like I said, the head of zombies and stuff like that um because i i think it's really cool to kind of see their view of it but uh, i don't know it's an interesting topic in itself probably for another video 
Anyways, I'll see you guys there. Thanks.